Okay, hello. Today I'm going to unbox my um, order from Fat Bob Exotics on Facebook. If you're from Belgium or the Netherlands, I would highly recommend buying from them. My order took a bit longer because I'm from Belgium, but they still did their best to get it to me as fast as they could. And then I got a great response from when they asked what was up with the package. It took me from Monday to Friday till it arrived, but I'm from Belgium. If you're from the Netherlands, you usually arrive in like two days. As you can see, the package is really well packaged. It was, the heat pack for me wasn't as warm anymore, but the teas were like nice and comfy, nice insulated, really well packaged. A amazing packaging, 10 out of 10. So I sped this part up to make it a bit more bearable to watch since I took a while and packing everything. As soon as I come to rehousing the teas, it'll be on normal speed. So here you can see I only ordered a Bracapelma Bome and a Bracapelma Albiceps thing. And they gave me a Sal Salmonias Pilcra or something for free, which is really nice. And they did only got like two pretty inexpensive slings and they still gave me a freebie with it. That's really nice of them. Which means I had to set up another enclosure, but these are two enclosures I had set up for, for the Brachys. Catch cup, always have your catch cup ready, guys. So here we're starting up with the bome. Excuse me. I am voicing over this because my mom recorded this for me and we were talking in Dutch, so. I was probably a bit over careful since the back of Helma wouldn't be aggressive at all. But hey, can't be too careful. And here she is, healthy and alive. A tiny bit sluggish, but I'll, I'll sure, I'm, I'm sure she'll recover quickly. But she does look like she might be in pre molt so that may explain why she's a bit sluggish as well. Why she's a bit sluggish, sorry. So let's try and go throw off the paper into the enclosure. And you can watch me do that while I take a quick sip of my iced tea. There she goes. Needs a bit of encouragement, but... Oh, well, she. I don't know if it's a she. I hope it's a she. And I'm shaking quite a bit. <laughs> There we go. And here's a nicer look at her. About right now. There we go. She's beginning to show a little bit of coloration, so hopefully in her next molt she'll get some some colors coming in. So this should be the Albicep sling, which is a lot smaller than the Bomi sling. I think it's only that third molt, so... So 
So this little guy went in a lot easier. That's why I expect you might be a primo, because this one wasn't anywhere near as sluggish. Like I said, the spiders were packaged really well. There's not a chance that any harm would come to him. There we go. And that's the albiceps in there. And I'll show you a picture, there we go. I might have to add some more moisture in there for them. But I'll, I'll see how they do. Now I have to quickly set up a new enclosure for them. Um, the Plamopeus pulchra, which I first thought was a Chilobrachus species, because it said like CH on the on the cap, but it was like wiped out, and then it said PP under it. So then I contacted them, and they told me like, oh, it's a Plamopeus species, which I've never kept before. So I'm I'm setting up a completely faulty enclosure here because they're in a boil, but I'll I'll soon find that out. But if you got any terrestrial, this is like a quick little demonstration I guess of how to set up a terrestrial enclosure really easy substrate piece of wood and you're done and a water dish of course if the slings big enough oh yeah I forgot to this is where I'm watering my uh, alviceps this was before I took the picture so here's how I did that You may want to add a little bit more than I did, but I'll be adding more tomorrow. But brachypelmas usually don't like it too wet, so don't overdo it either. As long as one of the corners stays a bit moist so we can drink and the rest of the enclosure is dry, you should be fine. Put them against the heat mat so that they're nice and cozy and warm. If you use a heat mat, don't put it below the enclosure, guys. Don't kill your spiders. Put it like on the side or like, like kind of put on the wall and put your enclosure in front of it. It's nice and safe and keeps them warm. And they can walk away from it if they think it's too warm. Mm -hmm. So here's the Salmopia species. A real cutie. It's an adorable sling. So as soon as my hands get out of the way, we'll be able to see it. There we go. Look at how adorable that thing looks. Quite a bit faster than the brachys as well. It's my first arboreal, like my first species that not that's not a brachypalma, so you know. There it goes. And now we're closing on the point where I noticed that it's an arboreal, I think. Should be any moment now. Or I might show you how I water and stuff as well. Yeah, probably. Okay. Since it's just a tiny sling, I wouldn't add a bottle cap dish in there. Just in case they get stuck in it or something. I don't know. Don't want to risk it. So I'll just wet the substrate. Until they get a few molds going for them. Always make sure to have ample ventilation as well. I've been told that you can never have too much ventilation. So I always get like holes all around, especially in this round enclosure. I make sure to make a little start of burrow as well. So if it did find its hide, it could dig in there. 
Just got a hole started for it. And then another piece of wire because I thought it was a bit small. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to rehouse it like 10 minutes later afterwards anyway. But you know, it's pretty much any terrestrial tarantula. There you go. Cute little thing. And here's a nicer picture of it. Right, this is what I'm going to rehouse it into. Since it's in the boil, I gave it a piece of cork bark to hide behind and something to climb on. This is a really bad angle for me, but oh well. It's a bit of a smaller enclosure, which is good, I guess, because it was quite a large enclosure for the sling. There it goes, instantly climbing up. I will enjoy this enclosure a lot more. Sorry. I only just melted the holes in there, so there's still a bit of strings and hanging off it. You can see how cute the little thing looks. A bit unfortunate, but from what I looked at, they get a little bit less nice when they grow up, but they're still cute. So like I said, these tarantulas, I got them from Fat Bob Exotics from um, Facebook. So if you're from the Netherlands or Belgium, be sure to look them up and place an order because you'll get some great teasing. I'll be watering the dish now. Or like... Watering a dish, well, I'll add some water in the substrate and that'll be that. Thank you guys for um, watching and checking my videos out. I'll uh, keep you guys updated when these guys molt and grow and when I feed them. And once more, Fat Bottle Exotics. Great service, great guys. Leave a like and subscribe and thanks for watching.